hey guys welcome back to my channel happy sunday to you all um today we're going to be making a few dishes but i am going to post them all separately so you can get the full recipe now i believe that sunday is a given day so and sunday is when your your body is fully recharged so um today i'm going to be making a few things um, but again, I'm going to post them all separately so you can get the full recipe. First, I'm going to start with making some roti. So, um, the ingredients you're going to need for this roti is some flour, some oil, some salt, a little bit of baking powder, I have here some butter and some shortening and I'm going to use, I have some extra flour here. Trust me, you're going to need it. So if you do follow this recipe, have some extra flour on the side because you're going to need it for different purposes. Um, what we're going to start doing is mixing the dough for this roti. So first you're going to add some water. Actually, sorry, you're going to add the salt. To the flour and you're going to add the baking powder and so now you're going to mix this well you can mix it with um a, a spoon if you want to but your hands is better used to mix in this because it it's combined better with your hands okay so once i've combined the flour and the salt in the salt and baking powder. I'm gonna add some water, a little bit of warm water, and I'm gonna mix. We're gonna mix this all in. You're gonna mix it until you get a nice soft dough. You don't wanna mix it and let it get too stiff because child, you are not making roti if this dough gets stiff, okay? I'm just pouring the water as I mix because I want to make sure I get that nice, soft, consistent dough. Now, if you need to get more water or anything like that, go ahead and get it. You're just mixing it in a little bit. You're not needing it to no extent, but again, to get a nice, soft dough. I'm mixing it in well to make sure that everything is kind of combined properly. I'm going to take a little bit of flour from here. You can use the same hand, same bowl. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is mix this around because I'm getting my nice soft dough. And as you can see, the flour is stuck on my hands. You could use flour to get this off your hands to make sure that you're not wasting any of the dough. I'm just using the flour as I need it. All right, see, I got a nice soft dough here. I'm gonna leave it in the bowl and I'm gonna leave it for a good five minutes before I start putting all the necessary on it. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, you have your the butter and shortening. I'm gonna add the oil to this. Now you wanna make sure the butter and the shortening is room temperature so it's easily mixed so i'm gonna just mix this in together and combine it well and 
and then we're gonna put it off to the side okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use some of this flour and just put on the surface that I'm working well you have to make sure that the surface you're working is clean so, I mean that's just common sense okay and I put the dough up here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep flour in my hands and just section it out in little balls this is as big as you want the roti you're gonna just section it out but as you can see the dough is nice and soft you don't want it too soft but you don't want it stiff either you can use a knife and cut this or you can do what I'm just doing. Just pull it out with your hands. Now just dusting it with flour wouldn't make it stiff. Because you're just dusting it. But make sure that you're just dusting it and not putting a whole lot of flour on it. Okay. Okay. Add this to two other pieces in there. And then. So now that you have it all section out, now that it's section out, you're gonna oil it and let it sit for about 20 minutes okay all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just using the flour on the surface open the roof open the dough and i'm gonna use some of this oil that i've combined and just rub it inside here now you don't have to put a lot but you want to put just enough now you can use a rolling pin and roll this out or you can do it with your hands like I'm doing. You can also use a knife to cut it, but I'm just going to roll it in like this. Knock it out. <laughs> and this is the truly old fashioned way of doing it. And we're going to put it down right there. Again. I'm opening it with my hands right on the surface then I'm gonna put some in here this mixture is gonna keep it nice and soft so roll it in both sides just knock it out <laughs> old-fashioned old-fashioned style twist it around and tuck the top in you want to add some flour to the bottom so it doesn't stick to the surface and it's right there again open it out and I'm gonna do all of them just like this there's so many methods to doing this whichever one you're comfortable with you can do it tuck it in what this oil is going to do it's going to go into the flour it's going to go into the complete dough and it's going to keep it nice soft and moist Roti is not something hard to make, but the dough is what tells you exactly what you're going to get.
So I have a total of eight. I'm gonna keep this flour because I'm gonna need it to roll the roti out. And I'm also gonna keep this mixture because I'm gonna need it for the pan when I'm baking the roti. So we're gonna leave this for about 20 minutes and let it sit. You can cover it, you can leave it open. I prefer to cover it, so I will. And I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay guys, so your next step is after leaving it for 20 minutes, you see how it's spread, it looks nice sitting right here. Your next step is you're gonna flour the surface that you're working. Just put a little bit of flour and we're going to start rolling one out. Now, when you roll it out, you don't have to get a perfect shape. Some people get perfect shape and some people don't. I am one of those people that don't get a perfect shape. My mom does. I don't know how she does it. But um, you're just going to roll it out and get it nice and flat. You're going to use um, your rolling pin. Use one that you're comfortable with because sometimes we get these rolling pins that is so big and awkward. <laughs> All right, so this is nicely rolled out and it has a nice wrong shape. I'm surprising myself right now. <laughs> We're going to take it to the roti pan. Okay, guys, so this is what we call a roti pan. Now, this is a little hot already. Now, this is what we call a roti pan. Some people um, call it a tower, I believe. I'm not sure which one in the U.S. is the correct name, but we call it a roti pan. Now, what you're going to do, if you don't have one of these, you can use a flat skillet, a very large flat skillet to do roti in. And it, it will work just as fine, I believe. I've never tried it, but I really believe that you can use one of those. Um, so the mixture of oil that you have with the butter and shortening, you're going to use a pastry brush. Or you can use... Um, <laughs> I used to use the, the spoon and just rub it like this because the pan is already hot. So whatever is on the spoon is literally going to melt. However, you can use a pastry brush and oil the pan and it's going to do it faster and better. And then you're going to take the roti that you rolled out and put it on the pan. Make sure, oh, make sure that you put it on properly. And kind of just spread it out. Now you want your fire to be down to like um, medium or low. So this roti can cook slow. If you cook it too fast, it won't come out as good as you want it to. So just allow it to be on low or medium. And that's how you're going to cook it. Now as it starts to cook, what you're going to do is use your pastry brush again. And you're going to keep tapping it with a little bit of the mixture because you want to keep it nice and moist. Just keep tapping it, not with too much. But you're going to keep tapping it so it's nice and moist. What I do, I... I used to use the spoon. Now, I don't do this anymore, but I used to use the spoon and kind of tap around the edges so the edges will be nice and flat. But when after doing this for a long time, you realize that you don't have to do all that anymore. Okay? So, on, you're going to flip it and you're going to use this and kind of like because you already have enough of the oil and stuff on there so you don't want to put too much so you're just using this as you can see it got a nice light light golden brown color because it's kind of cooking slowly which is going to help with that nice flakiness you don't want it to 
overcook and start looking like if you're burning it but you don't want it to look extremely white as though it's not cooked now once this is done what I'm gonna do I normally use my hands and kind of clap the roti that's what we used to do back home however I'm gonna show you a different way that you can do it all right we're gonna take this off okay so you're gonna take it off you're gonna put it in this towel open it and just do like this <laughs> now this is gonna help you not to burn your fingers but also make the roti nice and flaky see that see that guys and it's nice and soft see that and this is gonna taste so good now I'm gonna continue the rest of the process off camera real quick and I'm gonna show you when I'm All right, guys, our roti is finished. It feels nice and soft. I truly can't wait to dig in. And of course, we're going to pair it with some curry chicken. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to pair it with some curry chicken. Now, stay tuned for the next video that is going to be coming up as part of my sunday giving day hope you like this video guys remember to like and subscribe